Coming up on NFL Daily, Eric Berry released by the Chiefs today. Where will he be playing in 2019? The top free agent wide receiver Golden Tate has interest from three teams. Will he sign with any of them? And last, the Raiders missed out on Le'Veon Bell. Could they trade for Jordan Howard? All coming up on NFL Daily. Hello friends, welcome into NFL Daily. I am Tom Downey. Alongside me is Mitchell Renz. Free agency officially underway, technically speaking, although we kind of knew it already was underway for the past couple of days. There are a couple news items we want to get into here. First up, the big one. Eric Berry has been released by the Kansas City Chiefs. Only played in a handful of games over the past couple of years. Was due a $7.25 million roster bonus. He is now on the outs, Mitch. On the outs and... With Matthew taking over. I'm not not totally surprised by it, but at the same time, I am. Like, when you consider he's played in only three games, the last, that's two years, not three, so that's on me. I'll uh, get that got fixed for you guys. But, I mean, at the end of the day, Eric Berry is one of those players who, he was a great leader for this Chiefs defense and has overcome a lot in his life. And he was set to make $7.25 million if he would have been on the roster on Friday. And, man, when you look at the safety market, they got paid and... Uh, He's probably going to get paid as well. I think he's going to go somewhere. Some team will end up giving him the money. I don't think that's going to be the case here. Now, Where do you think he finds? I think he gets more than Amos. I don't think he does. No? No. Certainly not the, certainly not the longevity not of Not the longevity, no. No way. There's no way that ends up being the case there. So I think what you end up seeing with, with Eric Berry is he takes a one-year shorter deal, more of a prove-it contract with the team that okay. could use a strong safety type. Here are five teams that I think we should watch out for. The Chicago Bears, the Cleveland Browns, Dallas Cowboys, Indianapolis Colts, and San Francisco 49ers all, to some extent, could use a player. In the end, I kind of think the Browns are going to get him <laughs> because it's John Dorsey, it's the Chiefs. Uh, and the it, makes Chiefs. it makes a lot of sense. To me. And, heck, there's why there's a rumor floating around right now that Eric Berry could go to the Browns. And, heck, this morning there was a rumor that Earl Thomas could be linked to the Browns, and we know now that Earl Thomas has since. Which I never believed. It was clearly fake news. No one had ever heard of that report, and everyone was like, it's it's done deal. I'm like, it's gonna happen. Who, who is this Adam Silverstein guy? Never no one knew him. who that was. It's not even a real name. Yeah, not, not a real name. Anyway, though, they missed out on Earl Thomas, so potentially Eric Berry could be going to the Browns. Also, Eric Berry could be rumored to the 49ers because another team that was rumored for Earl Thomas missed out on him. Mm -hmm. And let's face it, the 49ers, they had only two interceptions last year. Maybe a healthy Eric Berry could be a little bit better for that defense. The big thing with Eric Berry is going to be the medical. How does that heel check out? It's, it was not in great shape last year. When the Chiefs signed Tyron Matthews, there had been some buzz. Eh, maybe Berry ends, does end up getting cut here. So depending on how that medical checks out, that's going to be instrumental to seeing in what type of player in contract he ends up getting. I don't think it's going to be a big one. I think it ends up being more of a potential prove-it deal, maybe like what Tyron Matthews signed last year. Sounds good to me. We're going to give a shout-out to BetDSI for going to up with the best promo code on the Internet. You want to play now? You want to play against Tom and I? Chatsports.com slash bet. Tom, if I give you $50 and you use our promo code LIVE120, how much you get? You get 60 extra for free. If I give you 100 how much do you get? Uh, you get 120 and 500 you get $600 for free. You guys are always telling them that you're smarter than Tom and I. Prove it. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit bonus. Tom, you ready to go to the next rumor? i got some news items here we want to get to as well. Some other some signings news. that have gone Woo. down in NFL free agency. Daryl Williams. He is headed back to the Carolina Panthers on a one-year $7 million deal. Remember, he injured his knee last year. Interesting. You know what? If you're a team like the Panthers, I like bring it. This. it's a fantastic move. Imagine being the Bengals and saying, Bobby Hart, we're going to give you three years at $7 million apiece. And then Darrell Williams goes for one year, seven instead. <laughs> Still hit on the old Bobby Hart. It's a terrible, terrible move. We'll, I, we'll, I get to, we'll get to early free agency winners and losers. Guess where the Bengals are going to be. <laughs> Probably a loser. Yeah. All right, next one coming in here, Tyrell Williams to the Raiders. I broke this one down mm -hmm. on the Raiders Report, YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. If any of you below are a big Raider fan, but the fact that the Raiders continue to be aggressive, the fact that Mike Mayock is spending money, he said that they were trying to surround Derek Carr with talent. They went out and got Mr. Big Chest, mm -hmm. and now you're going out and getting Tyrell Williams 
and 44 we million. do have those details. Those came in just as we went live today. So four years, 44 million, 22 of which is guaranteed, can be worth up to 47 million. It's the biggest contract a receiver signed this off season. I'm not that surprised because I think in the end, Williams' market was pretty robust, more so than the normal slot receiver types. I agree because he was 6'4", 205, and again, a lot of the other top wide receivers, you're looking at Golden Tate, looking at maybe a smaller John Brown, some of these other players, more of the slot. But the Raiders wide receiver depth chart, Tom, all of a sudden is looking pretty good. Antonio Brown, Tyrell Williams, Jordy Nelson there. Uh, yeah, Mickey D's, I'm loving it. Loving it. Also loving this move. Maybe not. Well, Maybe for not. The, the Ravens, Great I like move it. for the Ravens, yeah. but uh, for the Cowboys, and if there's any Cowboys fans out there watching, YouTube.com slash Dallas Cowboys Report. Tom, take we'll, it away. We will have therapy hour tomorrow on the <laughs> Cowboys Report for Niners or for Cowboys fans who are still very upset. But I did do a poll on the channel and on my Twitter at WhatGoingDowny, and for the most part, you guys didn't want to give Earl Thomas that, that contract if you're a Cowboys fan. Again, four years, $55 million. 32 of which is guaranteed. The Cowboys were never going to get in on that price tag. They were never going to, but Baltimore lost Eric Weddle, or I should say cut Eric Weddle. Yep. Now they pair him with Tony Jefferson. That's a fun one-two punch. The Ravens might not have the most potent passing attack, but neither will the teams that they end up playing, because that's a strong secondary right now for the Ravens. And they weren't done, Mitchell. They went out and signed Mark Ingram to a three-year, $15 million deal. Yeah, we got this one right. We predicted if Mark Ingram wasn't going to re-sign with the Saints, and as soon as the Saints went out and signed Latavius Murray to four years, $14 million, you and I both looked at each other, and we tweeted it out. Mark Ingram's going to the Baltimore Ravens, and I think it's a good fit. It's a fun fit. He spent his first eight years with the Saints, but the Ravens want to run the football. And when you have Mark Ingram, 50 career touchdowns, 4.5 yards per carry, and heck, last year he averaged 4.8 yards per carry. He was the 1B to Alvin Kamara. Now he's going to be the starting running back for the Baltimore Ravens. All right, folks, we'll stick with backs here again. Use hashtag NFL in the comments section to have your questions featured. We'll get to those later on in the show. Adrian Peterson, though, he is sticking around with the Redskins on a two-year, $8 million deal. Very little of that money, though, actually guaranteed. So keep that in mind for future notes. I just don't understand this move. I like Darius Geis. They, there was a report that they're going to use him as a change of pace back. Why? I understand he has over 1,000 rushing yards last season. I am a what Darius if, Geis believer. What if believer. Darius Geis gets hurt again? What if Adrian Peterson gets hurt? What if anybody in the NFL gets hurt? Yeah, so you need depth. Uh, I don't like it. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. You're, I'm saying you're, you're going to give Mark Ingram $5 million and Adrian Peterson 4 Give me Mark Ingram. What's Tevin Coleman? He's still available. I don't know. You're don't like it, Tom. Money at him, huh? You were gonna. You were, the Redskins are gonna throw money at Tevin Coleman. I'd rather throw money at go. Tevin Coleman than Adrian Yeah, but Peterson. the Redskins aren't bringing Peterson in to be their number one back. So you're gonna pay somebody four million dollars a year to be. He's your... not gonna get all four million. Okay. He's not going to. We'll see. Watch. I bet he gets cut after one year. Hey, fingers crossed. And they won't pay actually that much money. It's only like a two point five million dollar base salary. Now today's show is brought to you guys by Bet DSI, the internet's number one sports book. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet and use that promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit bonus. They had prop bets for free agency. We cashed out big on the Nick Foles deal. Oh, with, yeah. With the Jack, which, by what the way, I, is official now. It is official. It's also Antonio not Brown officially not officially going to the Bills. Um, <laughs> use promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit bonus. I put down $10 that Nick Foles was going to be a Jag, and now i got to spend $27.50. So, uh... If you guys want to comment what I can do with that $27.50, Sarah Smull says, uh, Mitch, you're a sexy man. Sarah, you want to go for dinner? $27.50, let me know. Shout out to Beth DSI. Let's get to some more rumors then. Next up, could the Giants cut Eli Manning? Mitch, they're not going to. They love Eli Manning. Why'd you put this in here? <laughs> they're not going to do it. Because there's a rumor floating around, Tom, because the, because the Giants traded OBJ now that the Giants could be considering moving on from Eli Manning. And uh, there was a nice little quote here from Archie Manning. He said, if Eli is done playing, I'm fine with it. And uh, it's just one of those things. He says, if the Giants don't want to win now, he doesn't know if Eli wants to even stick around. And when you look at this Brian Brown's Giants trade, now we kind of... No, this is, the, this is the deal that was submitted. Yes. They submitted it as one trade. Okay. And they, they, they canceled the late round pick swap involving the Olivia Vernon. So this is the trade. This is terrible. This is the trade. But Mitch, when you look at it this way. It's still terrible. It's still terrible. Yeah. Somebody needs to go check on Dave Gettleman to see if he's okay. 
because the man is clearly not thinking. And what we just saw him give Eli a Manning, we saw him just give a tender to. Now there was they did give Corey Coleman the first round tender, oh. but because he was a first round pick, apparently that's all they can give him. But you're still gonna pay pay Cor Corey Coleman four million. Which why? So you don't think the Giants could potentially draft a quarterback now? Oh, I think they could, but Eli's gonna start. Okay. It's the Giants. This is what they want to do. Okay. I'm just saying. Who's going to be the starting quarterback for the Giants week one of 2019? Fingers crossed for Dwayne Haskins it's or Kyler Murray. It's going to be Eli. <laughs> or worse, it'll be Daniel Jones. Let's oh. stick with our quarterback talk here. Is Teddy Bridgewater actually going to stay with the Saints? Had been reported that the deal was going to be done. Not official yet. And not only that, the Dolphins are still in play here. He's taking a visit with them. I think it makes sense Maybe for the Dolphins. Now, they kind of been saying, like, we want to tank for two or some of these but other you quarterbacks. Need a quarterback. Exactly. You need somebody. I know that you have a secret affair with Teddy Bridgewater. And if the rest, if the rest of your team sucks, it's fine. Very true. I think Teddy Bridgewater, though, I would like to see him get us another shot somewhere. And if I'm the Dolphins, he's probably the free agent quarterback that I would go after. I agree. Now, remember, Tyrod Taylor was an option for Miami. He signed with the L.A. Chargers today in a bit of a, I'd say, almost surprising move. Yeah, I was pretty surprised about that, too. I think he's really only there, though, to babysit Phillip Rivers' kids. So. <laughs> okay. Let's talk trade then. Emmanuel Ogba, the Browns are shopping him. This comes after the Olivier Vernon trade. He is now entering the last year of his contract. And I take note, he was number 32 overall, but he was a third-round pick because there was a team without a first-round pick that year. I think there's going to be interest in him. Even though he hasn't been the most productive player, good athlete coming out of Oklahoma State, I think he can be a reliable, at least role player for a team like maybe the Cowboys, maybe the Raiders who need some pass rush help. There are plenty of teams out there. Plenty of teams out there. I mean, at the end of the day, if you're a young athletic player who can get after the quarterback, there's going to be a lot of NFL teams that are going to be interested in that. And I, you said it before, we were like, man, I can't believe Emmanuel Ogba's or the Browns are trying to get rid of him, and then you said, well, they're trying to get rid of him now just so they can get something back for him because mm -hmm. they don't think they're going to bring him back next if year. If you can get a fourth-round pick this year, isn't that a little bit more valuable in the end? I don't know if it's going to – it might be. So I think that the Browns would want something back decently, but I think the production or lack thereof from Agba is going to drive down his value. Okay. So if you're a team that needs that backup edge rusher, Agba's young, talented. If he breaks out, you recoup your, your trade and any potential comp pick down the road. I like Smart it, Tom. teams make late trade late round picks for players. Smart teams do that. Giants don't. Exactly. All right, how about some more free agency talk here? Golden Tate to the 49ers. What do you think here, Mitch? Interesting rumor here that I saw. Now, the 49ers are one of those teams that were rumored potentially to get OBJ, potentially to get Antonio Brown. Obviously, both of those players no longer available. Maybe they could turn their attention to Golden Tate. And we've seen multiple times that the Giants are Giants. 49ers want to build around Jimmy Garoppolo. Maybe an easy way to do that is get Golden Tate, who, sure, last year I think was a little bit of a down year, but in 2016, 2017, over 1,000 yards. And since he's coming to the NFL, has been a pretty solid wide receiver. Well, I think we can both agree would fit pretty well with Jimmy Garoppolo, with Kyle Shanahan in that offense. I'm intrigued by the idea of Golden Tate and San Francisco for the reason you just mentioned. They lose Pierre Garçon. Dante Pettis can be a slot receiver there. But I think you bring in Golden Tate, it's a really good fit at, at wideout. Or maybe the Niners just want DK Metcalf. Just throwing it out there. All right, Just Tom. throwing it out there. Now, I don't love this one, Golden Tate to the Giants. Because right now, if you're New York, you're you got to actually not spend in free agency. Yes. Because you don't want to lose your comp pick for Landon Collins. So otherwise, you lost him for literally nothing after turning on any trade offer for him. So New Jersey, or NJ.com, they said that they thought it made a lot of sense for the Giants to go out and get Golden Tate. Now this is me just kind of picking at the, the NJ.com because to me I just don't understand why you're gonna go out and get Golden Tate when you just let OBJ kind of go through the door and they're saying like it'd be a great fit. And they're saying it'd be a great fit to prove to all the Giants fans that you're still invested in trying to win this year. Mm -hmm. I just personally don't think Golden Tate to the Giants ultimately makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. I will say this though, Tom, if there is one team if there is one team that I want Golden Tate to go to, it's the New England Patriots. You're just trying to kiss up to producer Harris here. That's all you're trying to do. Yeah, that's the last thing I'm trying to do. Tate also came out and said that I would love to play for the Patriots, and I mean, I guess who wouldn't? You know, he they, he wants to probably win another ring, and if there's a place where I'm going to go, it's probably going to end up being to the Patriots. So, Tom, here are my top five destinations 
for Golden Tate. I got the Patriots at one, 49ers at two, the Jags at three, Giants at four, well, Colts, Colts at five. Well, the Colts signed Devin Funches, which is stupid, so maybe don't bump them up. But I think Patriots, Niners makes some sense there. there. I think there are also numerous teams for Tate. I think in reality, his market hasn't been when he wanted it to be so far. I mean, when you look at Tyrell Williams getting four years for 44, what do you think Tate's going to get? I think that's what he would want. Okay. But I don't know if he's actually going to get it given his age. Fair enough. I wouldn't mind paying Golden Tate living million if money wasn't a factor for me. Two ways to get on the show. Use hashtag NFL to have your questions feature, or you guys can just put in the comments. I'm looking down here to see what we get. Where will Golden Tate play in 2019? I'm predicting him to go to the Patriots. Another team option there is the 49ers. I see some Cowboys comments. All I will say is if Golden Tate wants to take the offer the Cowboys had for Cole Beasley, then it makes sense. I think he can get more money, though, elsewhere. Yeah, I agree. Also, we appreciate the interaction that you guys have with ooh, us. Ooh. Ravens is a fit for Golden Tate. Ravens is a good Ravens. fit. Ravens is another good fit. I'll, I totally agree with that. Le'Veon Bell dropped his album last night, Life's a Gamble, and I want to give a shout-out to some of the people who predicted where Le'Veon Bell is going to play. I asked this question on one of our last NFL dailies, so I'm um, trying to see the name here. Sandy Pola Castro. There you go. You did it. Picked the Jets, but Sandy, you didn't get a picture, That's so I hooked you up thing. with one. This is what I do. You guys can see what we look like. I want to know what you look like. So, Sandy, there you go. And then Redman. Redman got it right saying the New York Jets. Again, guys, you want to get on the show, subscribe, youtube.com slash chat. Sports TV and interact with Tom and I on IG and Twitter. I'm at Mitchell Rent365. He's at What Going Down. Whoop, whoop. All right, let's get to some more rumors here. Tevin Coleman and the Eagles. I don't know about this one, Mitch. I don't know if Philadelphia really has the money and desire to spend big on him at the moment. Yeah, I mean, again, this is just one of those reports. And uh, I guess Adam Schefter went on 97.5, the Fanatic, uh, today. It was basically said that the Eagles could still be in play for Tevin Coleman because they were also rumored at Le'Veon Bell. Basically, any team that needed a running back was rumored at Le'Veon Bell. If you didn't get Bell or didn't want Bell at his price, Coleman's a follow-up along with Mark Ingram, who was already off the market with the Ravens. Exactly. So the fact that now Mark Ingram's off the board, the fact that Le'Veon Bell is gone, Tevin Coleman has been rumored to the Eagles, but... uh. You know, there's another team also that's been rumored to Tevin Coleman, and he was one of my top options for the Raiders. I think it's an interesting fit, right? Now, there's still the report that he could get a Jarek McKinnon-type deal, which I personally do not think is going to happen. The Raiders missed out on Le'Veon Bell, and if they are still looking for a running back who is capable of being an every-down running mm -hmm. back, you're looking at Tevin Coleman, who in 2018, 167 carries, 800 yards, 4.8 yards per carry, four touchdowns. They re-signed or they're bringing back Jalen Rashard. They mm -hmm. still don't know what they're going to do with Marshawn Lynch. Uh, I've never really been a fan of Doug Martin, but then again, I would love for the Raiders to get Tevin Coleman. I really like Tevin Coleman, and if you guys are Raiders fans, make sure you subscribe below to that link, youtube.com slash Raiders Report. Tom, here are my top five destinations for Tevin Coleman. I won't be overly surprised if Coleman goes to the Eagles, but I'm very curious how they make it all hit with a, with a money side of things. I think the Texans are a fun sleeper team there. I, out if of they all dump Lamar Miller and at some point they go get a free agent or offensive lineman. <laughs> <Just laughs> I will say out, out of all the teams that are on here, the team that I want him to go to the most is the Houston Texans. Mm -hmm. That would be fun. Deshaun Watson, DeAndre Hopkins, Tevin Coleman all tied together in one offense. Yeah. Tom, I'm telling you right now, fun group. sign me up for that. I don't know if he'd be a top... 10 running back in terms I, of fantasy production. I might be able to get on board with it. Maybe. I, I, I can kind of see it. Yeah. So okay. let's say this. Okay. If he okay. went to the Texans, over under 1,000 yards rushing for Tevin Coleman. Under. Under? The, I'd go they over. They throw it a lot. I would go over, and if I would would go over, Tom, there's one place I'd put down my bets. There you go. That's a bet the aside, and you guys should go there, too. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Bet on NFL games when they come back around. You want to bet on March Madness? We got that for you there, too. Perfect timing. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code LIVE120, 120% deposit bonus. All right, let's talk about another, another back here for the Oakland Raiders, Mitchell. That is Jordan Howard. There's been plenty of buzz here that the Raiders could have interest yep. in Jordan Howard. I think it's interesting. So, again, you miss out on Le'Veon Bell. You miss out on Mark Ingram. You're looking for a running back because we still don't know if Marshawn Lynch is going to come back. Now, we know that the Bears have been kind of shopping around Jordan Howard because, let's face it, 
2018 for Jordan Howard just wasn't that good of a year, and I just don't think he fit well with the Bears' offense. If you would have told me the Bears were going to go 12-4 and four mm -hmm. and win that division and tell me Jordan Howard would only have 935 rushing yards, I probably would have said you're a little bit crazy Yeah. simply due to the production that he sustained in 2017. And it's been really good. Which he was great. 276 carries, 1,122 yards, average 4.1 yards per carry, then nine touchdowns. But Jordan Howard, heck, his rookie year came out balling. He was only behind Ezekiel Elliott in terms of rushing yards. He had 1,313. And again, I think Jordan Howard is a good running back. And if you're the Raiders, you want to get a cheaper option because you missed out on Bell. You missed out maybe on some of these other players. Jordan Howard is a really interesting player to me for the Oakland Raiders, and it's why he's been linked. So I... Uh, Screwed up these graphics, which is really, really frustrating for me. Um, so comparing Howard and Coleman. So you got to flip them? Yep. What you do here? Got to flip them. Got to flip the pictures. Uh, really frustrating. I will try to fix your mistake. Thank you. Appreciate that. So we'll go back to Tevin Coleman. You know, the deal could be looking like a Jarek McKinnon type deal there. It. And then uh, Raiders missed on Le'Veon Bell. We know that. So that's why they've been rumored to potentially being interested in Tevin Coleman. It's why they've been rumored now to potentially be a trade partner for Jordan Howard. And I think a Jordan Howard trade makes some sense. I really do. I, I think if you want to go out and get a cheaper running back who can run between the tackles, then you can still have Jalen Richard as a reliable option. Because, again, Richard had 68 receptions last year for the Raiders, which tied Jared Cook for one of the best uh, receptions. Tied for Jared Cook for most receptions on the Oakland Raiders. And if you're looking for two solid running backs, Jordan Howard... Tevin Coleman, I'm liking it. And thank you to whoever fixed it, Tom. I just said I did. Well, oh, I appreciate give, it. Please give me credit. There sir. you go, Tom. <laughs> Much appreciated. So Howard, as you can see, definitely the better runner between the tackles, just in terms of getting more carries. But Tevin Coleman actually has a better yards per carry and then receptions. Tevin Coleman's the better pass catching running back and has more total touchdowns. Now that could also be due to offense. But when comparing Howard and Coleman the last three years. I'm telling you right now, if the Raiders are looking for a running back, I think either Jordan Howard or Tevin Coleman would be great fits. And also, if you guys are Raiders fans, make sure you subscribe. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. I want to see in the comments section, Jordan Howard or Tevin Coleman, who's the better running back overall, Tom? Who would you go with? It depends on what you want. I think it's indicative there of the stats. If you want a guy who's better in the passing game, it's Tevin Coleman. If you want a more typical back, yep. it's Jordan Howard. Okay. And okay. also the type of scheme that you run as well. If you guys want to know what running back I like, hit me up on IG or Twitter, at MitchellRan365. But apparently IG's down, so maybe just Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram has been having issues all day.